In Deutschland rechnet man mit vier. In Germany, approximately 400,000 to 600,000 nosocomial infections occur each year in hospitals. Davon approximately 10 to 15,000 patients die from these infections. Infektionen und hauptsächlich They're concentrated mainly in intensive care units because the number of infections there is substantially higher than in normal units. According to infection law, hospitals are obligated to register and evaluate nosocomial infections. One of the components of infection management is screening, which attempts to identify patients who are actually carriers of multi-resistant infectious agents. Then, when we recognize the infectious agents, the affected patients are isolated so that the transmission to other patients is minimized. In addition, certain preventive measures are necessary, like single rooms, covering workers with protective gowns, hoods and masks. We ensure that the following hygiene measures are carried out frequently, for example, changing patients' dressings. The dressings must be changed in accordance with non-touch technology standards which means the dressings must be changed with sterile, single-use materials, and the hands should not touch the wound. In addition to this, there are all the aspects of the therapy, including monitoring, and another important aspect, which is called disease surveillance. This surveillance includes the registration of infections in the unit in which they occur, registration of multi-resistant infectious agents, and control of antibiotic therapy. Everything is related and it therefore becomes a total package. We are the hospital service provider and supply all units, functional areas and institutes with appropriate materials in order to ensure an optimal supply to patients. Process optimization has played a significantly large role in our department in past years. We've succeeded in optimizing the large number of articles that we have had over the past few years. When purchasing disposable materials, you have to consider the total cost of the process. For example, treatment costs and logistics costs, as well as personnel expenditures. The Magdeburg Clinic works with numerous disposable products from Draeger, such as sensors, bacteria filters, tubing sets and blood pressure cuffs. One important factor regarding the implementation of hygiene is that the environment of the patient is regularly treated and cleaned, which lowers the possibility of contamination. In addition, all surfaces, bedside devices and monitors are disinfected in order to minimize the amount of possible infectious agents in the patient area and environment, thereby minimizing the infection risk. Investigations have revealed that it's not possible to disinfect reusable materials, cables, devices, technology and tubing in such a way as to ensure a lower enough rate of infections or transmissions. This is why we've changed over to the medically more favorable single-use items. Nosocomial infections have a negative impact for the hospital as well as for patients. It means, for example, that you must operate at higher personnel expenditure, thus higher costs. We have higher material employment. We have more illnesses, which create certain complications, which can lead to an increased number of deaths, as well as serious complications. The fact that the infection rate has not increased, despite the high number of high-risk patients we must treat here, and that the number of multi-resistant infectious agents has not continued to rise, is certainly due to the introduction of single-use items and disposables.